to us about the six billion dollar deal that was agreed back in January and, and how that came about because I think you need to understand this in order to talk about what else is going on. Yeah so this was I mean this is a deal that has been criticized from the very beginning yes. by, by Icon and Deason um, and the reason they criticized it is that essentially Xerox had this sort of poison pill built in that they hadn't apparently told their shareholders about for, for a very long time and what that meant was that Fuji had really the, the right to just buy this company so no one else could buy it. I think if anyone else amassed over 30 percent of the company then then it would be then Fuji would get the rights to basically do all of the distribution of Xerox products in Asia which meant that the company would be not worth very much to someone so else. two questions why would a CEO of Xerox go guys you can have it at such favorable terms and why would a board agree so according to the complaint that's come out today which is as you say from Darwin Deason um, the CEO is, is behaving in a very nefarious way and really in his own interest. So, extraordinary. Right, extraordinary. The complaint alleges that the CEO really was, uh, was trying to cut a deal for himself and not one that was necessarily beneficial to the companies. And they say that on um, sort of November the 10th last year, when this negotiation was going on, the board said that they were disappointed in the CEO and they asked him to discontinue any and all communications with Fuji, but he didn't. He kept on talking to them. And what's more, at least according to this complaint, he was trying to structure a deal that would, would lead to him being CEO of the pro forma company, which obviously uh, would be very much in his interests. Absolutely. And of course, uh, the, where's the board in all this? Uh, I'm, I'm reading here, according to the Wall Street Journal, the chairman, Robert Keegan, says that Jacobson, Jeff Jacobson, who is the CEO of Xerox, was fully authorized to engage in discussions with Fujifilm. Yeah, so the board have come out with that statement today, um, obviously defending uh, him. Defending him, but the and timeline. And they weird. decided that he was the right person to lead this company, and I think that's why he's still in the job now. What's interesting is that Icon has put up his own slate of directors to replace um, to replace the Xerox board, and one of the people on that slate is the person that apparently Xerox had identified as a possible replacement for Jeffrey Jacobson.